All right, so we're gonna resume now. I've got, uh, I fixed all my flub ups, I think. I just need to now connect a ground, a jumper between pins three and pin eight on uh, the phase inverter because the ground just goes through and I've got a single ground wire here. And then I'll connect that ground wire also into the same hole. So what I'm gonna do to make, I hope this a little easier first, and I've used, chosen a little bit smaller jumper wire as well, is that I, um, I'm gonna first solder the, the left side because that then makes it a little easier because it's kind of anchored in place for me to adjust and do the right side. So, oh, I gotta warm up my soldering iron and get fan going. So that'll be a second while it's warming up, but. All right, let that cool off a little bit. Meanwhile, I can kind of get this other one in. My darn, uh, what do you call it? My darn heater wires are in the way a little bit there, but I'll snip that off in a minute. All right, one thing I want to check on that now, because it's supposed to have continuity, is I want to do a quick continuity test between that turret point. So I'm going to click our touch just on the base of the pin, and then I'm going to touch over here on the turret. Let's double check. So we should have jumper from there to there, and then over to here. And there we have it, we're good, okay. So that's the kind of thing I will go back through and check again at the end as well, but you know, it can't hurt to double check at the time. So I now have all four power tubes wired, my phase inverter wired, and now I'm gonna start moving my way down. Uh, the next one will be EF86 preamp, and that's gonna be, all right, it just needs the ground. So each, the EF86, also jumpers those same through to the ground and then the two i've got the right to pin six and the left to pin one of the anode so that's these guys and i've got the ground here so that looks like my ground is going to fit just fine and it looks like Yes, we're in good bit in business. All right, so I'll have to kind of carefully watch, and I'm going to strip the left, the, the right one first on purpose, so I don't get confused like I've done the other ones. And that goes again to pin six. And then the other one goes to pin. One. All right, there's something here that I hadn't noticed in the EF86 wiring is that pins, uh, I think it's eight and three, but I'll double check again. Now seven and two are connected together onto ground. Uh, not to the not to the screen. This is just some kind of an actual pin grounding that he's got going on. So um, I don't have an easy ground right next to it, and I'm trying to think what would be the easiest way to do that. I could, in theory, potentially just ground it to this next tube next to it, uh, the chassis bolt. So I'm just trying to think of the way what to do with that one. But in the meantime, I'm going to get my jumper through again and connect the um, the ground to it so yeah, three to eight so I'm gonna jump for three to eight one of the things you should start noticing here of course is this side is now starting to look much cleaner as those go in I'm not sure let me double check yeah you can kind of see there I think through here we're starting to look a lot neater now those wires are going somewhere um getting it get, getting it in um 
I'm just letting that set for a second. All right, we're gonna quickly test the continuity on that again. I just wanna make sure that we're good from the turret. Good to go. All right. So now I'm gonna try and figure out how I want to connect that one and seven to ground. So I'm gonna to need to do another little jumper like that in there. Let me first clean up that guy. All right, so what I'm gonna do with that guy now so I'm gonna, I think I'll plan on trying to just wrap it around under this little socket. So I gotta strip a little bit from about here on up. There we go, all right. So, gotta find my little. So I'm just gonna loosen this up long enough to wrap it around it and then And then we will grind that baby down. He gives us a nice physical ground connection. All right, and we will test our ground now by just picking a random spot here. And we have good ground. Okay, cool. So that's grounded. So that's the EF86 done. All right, so our next job are these two anodes, a cathode, and a grid, a couple of grids for the modulator. So... Ground's gonna go through eight and three again, and yet again, I need a short ground clip. So. All right, had a little short stop there, battery went dead, but we're back, and I didn't lose anything. So I was about to solder in this guy. Oh wait, no, I don't wanna solder in that guy yet. I want to connect in this guy with it, so. By the way, I just keep getting a little bit faster at this as I go to, which is good. Skill acquired. That is another socket wire. Two sockets left. All right, so power on this one goes to one and six. All right, one and six for the power. Grid connection. Close one goes to pin eight, and the far one's going to go. Oh no, sorry. Seven. Sorry, seven. So we have two grounds as well. That ground and this ground. Um, but let me double 
double check that. And the second grid, I believe, goes to three. Okay. And the last socket. All right, so that is the last of the triode connections done too. And I now have this extra green one is the foot switch, which um, I have not. Um, had the chance to actually drill. I just realized this is one of those things that I'd forgotten about, but this connects to the foot switch, which will, you know, the foot switch jack will have a ground connection on one side, but this will connect to it and go down. And effectively, if the switch is open, this isn't shunted to ground. If the switch is closed, it is shunted to ground. And therefore that part of the signal goes away. Um, so I need to get that a little later, but for now today, I'm gonna call that a good stopping point. I've gotten all of my uh, tubes wired in. Uh, we are good to go. Uh, we will, uh, I'll get, I'll try and get some uh, more detail on all of this after it's put together, but uh, that's a good stopping point for today, tomorrow, or not tomorrow, but next time I work on this, I will be wiring up this side, which will be all of the, you know, all the potentiometers, all the jacks, and so I'll probably spin this around so it's a little easier, kind of like I had this, I had a nice downward access to it, so I'll leave that loose for now until I get a jack, because I realize I don't think I have a jack available for that as well, so. All right, everybody, we'll keep you posted on the progress. Thanks.